electrical activity of heart muscles of heart right now electrical activity means basically we are going to discuss the action potential on muscles of heart right so action potential two types of action potential is seen in heart one is fast type action potential and second is slow type action potential fast type action potential examples or this is generally seen in case of myocardium so in atrium and ventricular muscle we will have fast type action potential it is also seen at the level of Parkinje fiber right slow type action potential on the other hand is seen at the level of nodal tissue of heart so obviously it is seen at the level of ASA node and AV node now before starting this action potential we have to remember what is the resting membrane potential or RMP of this tissue okay detailed discussion of the RMP has been done in neurons chapter but for the time being you remember myocardium RMP is minus 90 millivolt Parkinje fiber RMP is almost same but according to Guyton this is minus 80 millivolt MCQs already similarly the ASA node has an RMP of minus 50 millivolt AV node minus 60 millivolt all of these are MCQ already in NEET exam okay so remember the single best answer now in case of first type action potential how the action potential looks like so we are drawing the diagram of action potential so y axis x axis action potential diagram x axis will be time y axis will be membrane voltage we have seen the diagram of first type action potential how it looks like see here the typical diagram looks like this okay so first this part of the action potential which is almost a flat line it is cutting here the voltage at this area is minus 90 millivolt so obviously this is nothing but our rmp means this flat line is rmp or resting membrane potential then we are saying ki one part of the action potential where membrane voltage is rapidly rising to a peak this peak has a value of plus 35 millivolt this is known as phase zero of action potential then membrane voltage is going towards the rmp going back towards the rmp this is known as the phase one of myocardium of Purkinje action potential then there is a part where the membrane voltage is almost stable this is known as phase two of action potential again there is a part where the membrane voltage completely going towards the rmp this is phase three of action potential and after phase three this is nothing but rmp that's why rmp is known as phase four of action potential this is the diagram on the other hand if you look at the image of the slow type action potential now we are discussing the slow type action potential again the same thing so for basic concept you require first x-axis y-axis is the membrane voltage so suppose this membrane voltage is minus 65 
this membrane voltage is minus 40 and this is plus 10 membrane voltage so this is right so in nodal tissue or this slow type action potential there is a phase where membrane voltage will move from minus 65 to minus 40 millivolt then it will go to plus 10 millivolt slowly not rapid like myocardium then it will again come back to the original membrane voltage that is minus 65 again the same thing will occur again this membrane voltage minus 65 to minus 40 then again it will rise like this and again it will come back now here the membrane voltage which is going from minus 65 to minus 40 this is known as phase 4 we know phase 4 is what so phase 4 is nothing but rmp so please note down important the rmp of this nodal tissue or slow type action potential is not fixed it is moving from minus 65 to minus 40 millivolt again the membrane voltage is going back to minus 65 again it is rising to minus 65 to minus 40 this type of spontaneously moving rmp is known as pre potential of nodal tissue it is also known as this maker potential of the nodal tissue pacemaker potential or also known as diastolic depolarization all of this word are very very important already mck has been given from all of this name so initially i told you may think that initially i told sa nodal rmp is minus 50 millivolt and AV nodal RMP is minus 60 millivolt. Now I am saying that RMP of the nodal tissue is not a fixed value. It has a value of it has a value of minus 65 to minus 40 millivolt. And this is the thing given in Harrison. The RMP of nodal tissue is from minus 65 to minus 40. But your neat PC is asking a single best answer. They have not given the range. In that cases, you have to remember SA node means I have to mark minus 50 millivolt. AV node means I have to mark minus 65 millivolt. But if there is a range given, then I have to mark minus 65 to minus 40 millivolt. Am I clear? So this RMP, it is not fixed. Whenever it is going to minus 65, again it is moving towards the minus 40 millivolt. And because of this spontaneous movement of the RMP, we know nodal tissue behave like a pacemaker tissue and that's why this membrane voltage where the membrane voltage is moving from minus 65 to minus 40 spontaneously is known as the pacemaker potential or pre potential or rmp or diastolic depolarization now when the membrane voltage reaches up to minus 40 millivolt again look at this diagram this minus 40 is known as threshold voltage of nodal tissue threshold voltage means if you move to that voltage action potential will start that means whenever the membrane voltage is ri rising to minus 40 there will be shoot out of membrane voltage to plus 10 millivolt so obviously this is the actual action potential which is known as phase 0 of action potential compare with the myocardium phase 0 means when the membrane voltage is rising to plus voltage and here the maximum positivity that can rise up to is plus 10 millivolt not like that of plus 35 millivolt then what is happening the membrane voltage is returning to the baseline or rmp again so this is phase 3 part so we can see here that phase 1 and phase 2 phase 1 and phase 2 is not present in case of nodal tissue and if you have to choose only one answer which phase is not present in nodal tissue your answer will be this phase 1 
is never present because just now we'll discuss for the phase one the channels protein which is required that is absent in case of nodal tissue so it is never present so this is the basic diagram we have to remember now we have to discuss what is the ionic basis of this first type action potential and slow type action potential we have to remember that so <coughs> ionic basis of action potential first we are starting from first type action potential in myocardium or organ fiber so the diagram now you know that the diagram so this is the diagram and to understand this diagram better i am drawing one myocardium cell just below this action potential single myocardium cell from where this action potential is recorded okay now first we are starting from phase 0 so this is phase 0 this phase 0 means the membrane voltage is rising to plus 35 millivolt this is known as depolarization phase okay so i am writing here phase 0 is phase of depolarization right so during this phase 0 what happens there is a channel on this myocardium membrane which opens up and through this channel there is entry of sodium inside the cell and this name of this channel is voltage gated sodium channel so i am writing here phase 0 what is the ionic basis entry of sodium inside the cell but most importantly which channel is responsible number one the channel is voltage gated okay and second i have to remember the channel is very very fast in situ fast voltage gated sodium channel fast mean how much faster this is remember to open the channel to open the channel you require only 0 0.1 millisecond it's very fast to open the gate only 0 0.1 millisecond and after opening it will remain open it will remain open for another 1 to 2 millisecond so these two number are important 1 to 2 millisecond it will remain open for 1 to 2 millisecond and that is the open duration so after this 1 to millisecond what will happen i am writing here after this 1 to millisecond the channel will be inactivated inactivation will occur so channel opens within 0 0.1 millisecond then it remain open for 1 to 2 millisecond then inactivated so within this 1 to 2 millisecond the sodium which is entering into the cell that is rising the membrane voltage from this 0 millivolt minus 90 millivolt to up to plus 35 millivolt am i clear so this is depolarization now there is a question for pgi entrance exam that if the sodium channel remain open for long duration suppose the channel is open for long duration what will happen to the membrane voltage of this phase zero so critical thinking question like okay channel close within one uh, inactivated within one to two millisecond but if it remain open for long duration so simple understanding so what happens if the channel is open for long duration sodium will continue to enter within the cell more and more how long this sodium will continue to enter think like this how long the sodium will enter until and unless there is an equilibrium between outside and inside sodium electrochemical equilibrium okay sodium concentration and electrical charges if you combine this thing that is known as electrochemical equilibrium whenever there is equilibrium simple no sodium will enter further so at this equilibrium condition 
what is the membrane voltage inside the cell how much positive heat is this equilibrium potential is measured by an equation calculated by an equation that is known as nernst equation all of you have heard this name we have discussed this nernst equation in detail in neurons chapter okay so with this nernst equation if you calculate what is the equilibrium potential of sodium that is plus 63 millivolt so what is the maximum positivity that can develop during this phase zero if your channel remain open for long duration answer is plus 63 millivolt that is nothing but equilibrium potential of sodium after that no further sodium will enter into the cell right so phase zero is over now second now the membrane voltage is returning towards the rmp during this phase so this green portion already you have given name this is nothing but phase 1 so what will you say when the membrane voltage is going towards the rmp that is known as repolarization but here this repolarization is not complete see here in between there is stopping of membrane voltage so repolarization is transient only that's why phase 0 is given the name sorry phase 1 is given the name transient rapid repolarization phase of membrane voltage okay so what is the ionic basis of this phase number 1 number 2 controversial area number 1 there will be opening of potassium channel during this phase through which potassium positive charge is moving out of the cell if positive charge is going out so what will happen to the inside charges it will be less positive that's why the membrane voltage is returning here less positivity moving towards less positivity so the main thing that is responsible for phase 1 is exit of potassium from cell main thing remember controversy here and second thing what will happen to the sodium channel here there will be inactivation of the voltage gated sodium channel we already talked about this point because the sodium channel is very very fast one after 1 to 2 millisecond it will be inactivated so phase 1 means sodium channel will be inactivated plus there will be opening of the potassium channel but the main important thing is opening of potassium channel okay even if sodium channel is inactivated membrane voltage will not go down towards the rmp or will not go down towards negativity it will be stable there but this potassium channel is important here which potassium channel is responsible for this thing in books particularly bernier levy if you check there is given the channel is known as kto type of potassium channel important for mcq <clears throat> so t for so kto k for potassium t for this transient and o for outward movement of potassium that's why transient outward potassium channel potassium is going out that's why kto type of potassium channel right so this is phase 1 now next part next part we already discuss that there is a phase where the membrane voltage is almost stable almost stable that's why the name of this phase is phase 2 or plateau phase of myocardium action potential membrane voltage on this table so what is the reason for this plateau all of you know okay so look at here so potassium is going out of the cell already so potassium is going out another potassium channel is also open up i will tell the name simultaneously there is opening up another channel here and this channel is calcium channel so the positive charge which is going out in the form of potassium is now balanced by inside movement of calcium through this channel so positive charge going out positive charge coming in potassium calcium because these two charges are balancing out one another the membrane voltage will be stable 
so i am writing here phase 2 means there is potassium exit from the cell already going on and calcium entry within the cell now remember the channel name potassium exit already kto channel is open plus there is another channel which is kr remember this name for difficult type of mcq it can be asked this r stands for rectifier type of potassium channel so two channels potassium open during phase 2 kto transient outward and rectifier potassium channel the entry of calcium occurs through l type you know long type calcium channel voltage gated so this channel is also voltage gated channel l type voltage gated sodium channel the other name of this channel is d h p r channel all of you must have heard this name dihydropyridine receptor channel so this d for dihydropyridine receptor channel this channel is mainly present in vascular smooth muscle blood vessels and this is blocked by various calcium channel blocker but it is also present in myocardium and responsible for phase 2 or plateau phase remember okay so this is phase 2 or plateau phase now next part is important now after this phase 2 is over now the membrane voltage is moving towards the rmp completely i told you already when the membrane voltage goes towards the rmp that part is known as the repolarization and here the repolarization is complete initially phase one is also repolarization but that is transient not complete but phase three here this is complete repolarization so i'm writing here phase three is known as complete repolarization complete was is not used so this is repolarization phase now there is a particular understanding required here if i ask you starting of phase 3 is done by what will be the answer so at the level of phase 2 both potassium channel is open calcium channel is open means both ions are permeable through membrane whenever there is decreased calcium permeability so i'm writing here calcium permeability is less than potassium permeability calcium permeability less than potassium permeability means both the channel are open but calcium movement is lesser than potassium movement so potassium is going out more positive charge is going out but less calcium is coming into the cell what will happen the membrane voltage will start moving towards repolarization so here i'm writing here so at the starting part of this phase 3 both channel are open calcium channel is also open potassium channel is also open but why the repolarization has started because the calcium movement or permeability is less than potassium movement but at the end of this repolarization calcium channel will be completely closed but potassium channel will remain open okay so phase 3 means calcium channel is closed but potassium channel is still open so please note down and write down also so i am writing here phase 3 phase 3 start this is the answer of the mcq calcium permeability is lesser and phase 3 during ending part of the phase 3 calcium channels are closed but important is potassium channel is still open so which potassium channel is open here transient outward kto channel is almost closed here because the name of the channel is transient it will open and it will close during the phase 2 or later so here the potassium channel is kr that is the rectifier potassium channel plus another group of potassium channel known as kir 
this I stands for inward rectifier type of potassium channel. So I have to remember two potassium channel KR and KIR. Okay, when the KIR will open up, obviously during phase three. But remember, when the phase three is moving more and more towards the RMP, KIR will be particularly open during this later half of phase three. Am I clear? KIR and this KIR is also open during this RMP phase. Okay, so note down all this thing. Okay. So phase three is important for MCQ, calcium channel and potassium channel between these two, calcium channel is closed, potassium channel is still open, fine, phase three is done. Now after phase three, next phase is phase four or RMP. Now question, what will happen during this RMP, how the cell will move to the resting condition again? During this action potential, if you look inside this cell, there are some ionic changes which has already happened like sodium is huge inside the cell, entry, entry. potassium has moved out of the cell, so less potassium inside the cell after the action potential is over and calcium has entered inside the cell. RMP means I have to correct all these ionic changes which has occurred already. So, during this RMP, what will happen to the cell? I have to throw sodium out of the cell. So, I am throwing sodium out of the cell. Simultaneously, I am taking potassium back into the cell. All of you know this. The name of this transporter is sodium potassium ATPH. So, I am writing here first part. Phase 4, that is the RMP. Number one transporter which is required is sodium potassium ATPase. Okay, sodium potassium ATPase. So, this is responsible for maintenance <coughs> of the RMP. So, this is responsible for maintenance of the RMP, right? Then, not only sodium correction, you also require calcium correction. So, you have to throw calcium out of the cell because calcium is high and you have to take back sodium because to throw the sodium out uh, throw the calcium out of the cell if you want to throw this you have to have take the sodium because it's a co-transporter name of this transporter is known as sodium calcium exchanger so i'm writing here the second maintenance is done by NCX transporter. It is written like this sodium calcium X for X changer. So it's a antiporter. Antiporters in our body are secondary active transporter. Remember this. This primary active or secondary active, this thing we have discussed in general physio first chapter. Okay. So this is secondary active transporter NCX. And all of us know the sodium potassium ATPH pump is primary active transporter. So I require both of them during the RMP or resting membrane potential. Fine. Now look at this mechanism here once again. Whenever you are throwing calcium out of the cell, you must have to take sodium inside the cell. Now again, I have to throw this sodium out of the cell. So I require the help of sodium potassium ATPH pump. That's why we say that secondary active transporter in our body, that is the NCX, it depends on primary active transporter. It depends on primary active transporter. That means if I block this primary active transporter, so if I block this primary active transporter, what happens to the secondary active transporter or NCX? Obvious thing, it will be inhibited because both are dependent. NCX is dependent on primary. So, this blocking of sodium potassium ATPH is done by a very famous 
drug that is nothing but decoxin all of you know so if you block the sodium potassium atph pump ncx is blocked look at if you block this ncx indirectly what happens the calcium which has entered inside the myocardium it will not be go out of the cell that means calcium concentration intracellularly will go on rising 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 and that's why the contractility of the myocardium increases so ncx blocking means there will be more calcium intracellularly okay and because of that myocardium contractility increases and that's why we know the digoxin the mechanism of action is primary blocker of sodium potassium ATPH but secondarily it is rising intracellular calcium so this is the mechanism of sodium potassium ATPH am I clear so this is the ionic basis of myocardium action potential